and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to show you several ways to do the same thing. We've got a list of names on the left hand side here and these names have the last name first and then the first name. Well let's say we want to extract that last name into a separate column. Since Office 2013, it's really, really simple. We can use what's called Flash Fill. If I start to type that last name, which is Bennett in this case, press Enter, and then start to type the next one, B, O, and there it is. I've got as far as the O, and it's dropped a sort of grayed out list below. If I now press Enter, there it is, as quick as that. Now if I want the first name, which is the second piece of text, I can type Jonathan, press enter, and I can start typing the next one. And there it is, press enter. So what Flash Fill does, it looks for a pattern. Okay, let's say we don't want this in separate columns like this. So I'm just going to delete this column here and then this one full name let's assume we want these names but round the other way <clears throat> so what I can do is type Jonathan Bennett and then in the next one start typing this out and you'll see that it's realized that I'm just swapping them round and I can press enter and there are your names swapped round. Okay, now we're going to do this using functions. So first of all, let's find the last name. Remember the last name is the first one on the left over here. So the function we need is left. So it's equals left, open bracket, and it's asking what text do we want the left of so we're going to click this one a2 and then it asks you for the number of characters well the problem here is this if i said this is one two three four five six seven characters it'll bring seven characters back for all of these down here what we want to do is bring back all the characters up to the space what we're going to do is use a find and tell it what what text we want to find so we want to find the space so it's speech mark space speech mark comma within what text well it's that text in a2 okay and what that will do if i close the bracket there that will tell us how many space or how many characters up to that space well, we don't really want the space, so all you do is minus one, and that will give you the number of characters for the name. And close the bracket, and press enter, and there you have your last name. And if I now send that down, we've now done that with a function. So we now want the one on the right, which is the first name. So we're going to use the function right. So it's equals right. What text do we want? Well, it's the right of this text in A2, comma, and then it wants the number of characters. Here, if we counted the characters up to the space, that would be the wrong side. We want all the characters to the right of the space. Okay, so the way to do this is again we want to we do need to find the number up to the space but we're going to find the length of the whole name so we're going to use the len function and we want the length of that whole name close the bracket for that but now we want to subtract from it everything in f including that space so in this case one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gives us Bennett, eight up to the space. Well, that would be minus, and then we just find where the space is. Minus find, open bracket, 
what do we want to find? We want to find the space, which is speech mark, space, speech mark, comma, within the text of A2. We can close the bracket. Don't forget we need to close the bracket for the right function. So basically, we're going to tell it that we want the right hand side of A2. The length of the whole name is length of A2 minus where the space is. And you're going to find the space. Press enter. And there we have Jonathan. We can now send that down and we've now got the first name. Now the complicated one here is when we want to swap it round. I'll just call this swap for ease of knowing what we're doing here. So this is where we're going to use a function called the mid function. And we want to imagine this whole name twice. Okay, bear with me on this one. So it's equals and we want mid and what text do we want the mid of well it's the text of this name here and we're going to concatenate it with itself so if you imagine we've got Bennett Jonathan Bennett Jonathan but we haven't got a space in there so what we need to do is have a2 and a space and that's the ampersand that concatenates it so that's what we want to find the mid of so now we're going to put a comma and we want to find the start number well if you imagine that the start of what we want is going to be one two three four five six seven the space is eight and then the j is nine so what it is it's the number of characters up to that space plus one and that will give us jonathan because you imagine we've concatenated this so this says bennett jonathan space bennett jonathan and we want the two words in the middle Okay, so the start number is we're going to find the space, find the space within what text. So we can just tell it that it's comma within this text here. So we found the space, but we need to add one to it. So close the bracket and add one. Okay, so that's taken us up to the J. And then if we put a comma in, it's asking for the number of characters. Well, the number of characters is the length of the name, including that space. So we just put len for length of this text here in A2. Close the bracket, close the bracket for the mid and press enter. And there we have the name swapped around and copy that down. And there it is. So we've got lots of ways to do the same thing. This way, using the lefts, the rights and the mids, is what we used to do often. But now with this flash fill, you can do things almost immediately. But there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And click that notification bell. And if you like the video, please give me the thumbs up. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.